You're listening to 90.7 WKKL, where we play songs like this for the ladies. Capecast! Howdy folks, I'm Eric Williams and welcome to Capecast, the official webcast of the Cape Cod Times for September 28th. Stay tuned for a trip behind the mic at Cape Cod Community College's radio station. But first, let's take a look at news. A Pennsylvania man sailing on Vineyard Sound Monday afternoon has told Fairhaven police he saw a person slide overboard from the New Bedford Fast Ferry halfway between Woods Hole and the Tisbury Ferry Terminal on Martha's Vineyard. Walter Tyler of Fairhaven has been missing since that time, and videos show him boarding the ferry but not leaving it upon arrival on the island. Tyler's baseball cap was retrieved from the water. In the Drug Doc Returns Department, former local physician Michael Brown, 54, was found guilty of another drug charge, illegally prescribing a painkiller. Yesterday in Barnstable Superior Court, Brown was convicted of dozens of other drug-related charges in July. In the Memory Lane Department, a bustling crowd gathered yesterday to say goodbye to the Osterville Bay Elementary School, which is set to close at the end of the academic year. The school, which opened in 1915, will consolidate with Osterville Elementary School starting next fall. Hey folks, Cape Cast recently rocked the house at WKKLFM at Cape Cod Community College, where students learn to play it and say it. Tell me about WKKL and what you guys have been learning and what you spin and what it's, what it's meant to you. Oh wow, um, it means a lot for me because it gets, gives me the ability to get my personality out over the air. Um, and it also, it's cool because you get to learn and get to kind of freely learn how to work in a radio studio. So it's, it's a lot of fun. Now what is it about radio? You get your own voice and the headphones. It's sort of powerful feeling, isn't it? Oh yeah, it's great. It's a great feeling. I love hearing myself as it is. So. <laughs> uh, my name's Andy Preddy. I do locals with a local. We play nothing but local music, and we play the best local music from Boston to Providence to the Cape and all points in between. We are on Tuesdays from 5 to 7, and we do it absolutely commercial free live, 90.7 WKKL. I would have to say right now the top five would have to consist of the Ticks, um, the Shods, they're a band actually from Lowell, but they're doing very well right now. Um, I'd have to put them up. I'd have to say Greg Greenway is doing very good. I'd have to say Roots Down Below is definitely up there. And uh, my number one probably right now would be Siege. He's a, uh, he's a local rapper and he has been making a lot of uh, waves lately. We have the air studio, the production studio, and the classroom studio. So you can, you can come here and learn how to be on the radio as a professional. And you will be. So the, within a month of you coming to take the class, you're on the air. One of the highlights here at WKKL, of course, is the rock and roll bathroom. Look at this! <laughs> My name's DJ Tuna. My show is every Wednesday from 12 to 1. It's the Tuna Melt Hour. It's a great show you should tune in. Wait a second, Tuna Melt Hour? What are you playing on the Tuna Melt Hour? I melt down every kind of music that you can think of. From Broadway musicals, classical, punk, anything. Wow. I take requests, and if you have any odd requests, I'll play them. Electronica is my favorite, so. Let's dial over to the world of sports. In boys high school soccer action yesterday, Sandwich eked out a one to nothing win over Nosset. Meanwhile, in Major League Baseball, the always able to torment us Boston Red Sox succumbed to the Minnesota Twinkies last night at Fenway. Now let's check the all-important Cape and Islands weather forecast, backed by some wild turkeys I was stalking this morning in Wellfleet. For tonight, a chance of showers before 9 p.m., partly cloudy, with a low around 57. For Saturday, sunny with a high near 69. For Sunday, sunny with a high near 63. Hey folks, check out the Sunday Cape Cod Times for an awesome arachnid story about the possible discovery of a new species of black widow spider on Nantucket. Okay, we've got to get out of here. This has been CapeCast for September 28th. Have a great weekend, everybody. Till next time, see ya! CapeCast!